Mambila Plateau in Taraba State was in the news in 2017 when hostilities broke out between the Mambila-speaking tribes and the Fulani community. Several lives were lost and property destroyed as a result of the clash between the two neighbors. Now peace has been restored and life is back to normal after the state government's intervention. The leadership of the Fulanese and Houses are here at the government house to express gratitude to the governor for restoring peace while seeking more support in the area of development. We wish to seize this opportunity and re uh, request for your excellency's quick intervention for the rehabilitation of the deplor deplorable conditions of the route from Marcel A to Gembu. This route is becoming impossible and if something is not done it is it may likely cut off the people of the plateau from the rest of the country governor darius ishaku is elated and in turn seeks their support in moving the state forward he tells them that the stand of the federal government on some road projects is not encouraging a mobilized contractor immediately to move to site and to immediately fix that. I think in less than six months they fixed that and made it even better than we met it. Unfortunately, this question of federal road and the stand of federal government that we should not interfere with any federal road came up. And so I had to stop the contractor from working. Elsewhere, the sitting of the Judicial Commission of Inquiry looking into the remote and immediate causes of crisis between TIVs and their neighboring communities continues in Jalingu. However, just like the TIV, another ethnic group known as Yangdang in Lao local government area withdraws from memorandum tendering and testifying at the inquiry. My clients called me to instruct that I should withdraw the memo. No reason was advanced. The fact that the other side pulled out they, 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 does not mean that their memorandum cannot be considered. The commission has agreed to appear before the Federal High Court in Abuja and will also visit some of the affected communities to get first-hand information about the crisis.